Dude, I like these. I don't know what it is about EVE Online, but I love hearing stories and like, I don't know, just all these crazy things about the game. And we found another one here, guys, called Thousands of EVE Online Players Just Got Screwed Over by One Guy. EVE Online is a strange game. Mm -hmm. You piss people off already, Mike. <laughs> Every okay, so rip. often a story pops up online about some player who's hatched the scheme to make a name for themselves. Yep. It's just a treasure trove of insane goings on because unlike most games, oh, all the players share the same universe. This story though, well this just puts all the rest okay. to shame. And bear with us guys, this is a long story. We've tried our best to condense it all. We're just okay. reading what happened out of, but we weren't part of it at all. So bear that in mind, some of the details might be a bit hazy and we apologize if we're not accurate completely That's 100%. Fine. But we've tried our best. A little disclaimer there because that's what you get on fucking Reddit, isn't it? These guys never play for the fucking game. What do they know? <laughs> I like that, Dude, yeah. Reddit would never complain. There is no way Reddit will be complaining about something as trivial as that. Um, Tiny Violin went to, to Eve. Okay, so you think Tiny Violin, like the Nax Ramas, the f the fifth horseman, is like a uh, like. Like, you think that's much. The things that we have seen and heard about EVE Online, it's, it, it is like, it is way more crazy than that. It's absolutely ridiculous. People spend like Thanks little years on it. You do, Gazoo. For those who might not know, EVE Online is a space-based MMO where players build ships, mm -hmm. trade goods, and can even get elected to in-game governments. Yeah. It's famous for the intense amount of dedication required to play the game at a high level, with some players comparing the experience to having a second full-time job. EVE is basically <sighs> its own living, breathing yep. world at this point, and in the past- I mean, dude, it's crazy, man. We said this, we've talked about this before as well, man. Dude, people go into EVE Online, they already have taxes IRL, they have, you know, like, all the different kind of responsibilities in their real life, then they go into EVE Online, and then they just multiply all those responsibilities by, like, five, because it's just way more extreme within that game too, right? Past, there's like, been in-game wars, economic struggles, no and even heists. Back in May, we made a video about one EVE player who spent months earning the trust of a group of players only for him to betray them, steal oh, the most prized ships, and sell them for profit. Then even further back Easy. in April, a civil war broke out in-game over anime. It was called the- Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Over anime. The weebs got to them, man. There's no shot. The Weeb War, and the community split into two factions, those who liked anime and those who didn't like anime. This newest story though sounds like something straight out of a Tom Clancy novel. It's full okay. of subterfuge, espionage and betrayal. Now it all began with an They're alliance to war. called CO2, who are one of the most powerful groups in the game. Or okay. they were one of the most powerful groups in the game, which is a bit of a spoiler. One of CO2's highest diplomats, yes that is his real title, called The Judge, was responsible Damn. for running CO2's Keep Stars. Dude, some of these guys, man, they, they they must have the biggest egos. They must be some ego Andes. If they're in this game leading like a literal fleet of people in a universe, they must... Oh god, I guess you can see how, how it leads to these kind of things. CO2's Keep Stars. Keep Stars are EVE Online's citadels, which are essentially you, just giant space stations that act like hubs for CO2's players. They yeah. can store their ships in there, their resources, whatever. In recent months, city. the judge came into conflict with CO2's founder, GigX, and little did GigX know, Gig the judge was actually plotting against him. So that one sentence that we just said there, there's, there's like a 2,000 word feature on Kotaku that explains just what that conflict was about and all the backstory, it kind of relates to a war that like all the before. enemy. And the short version is that CO2 were kind of seen to, to betray uh, the Imperium, which is kind of a huge, huge organization of players mm -hmm. in the game, and they, they just kind of did something a little bit shitty there, and that's what kind of started all this off. It's a okay. really, really long story, which is pretty interesting, but it's just too much for us to stand here and tell you about it. Just go read the article. Yeah, stick the kettle on, make yourself comfortable, and have a nice read. The judge was... Yeah, um, like the, the, th the thing we can definitely... Like, we're going to figure out what, what's going to happen here, but but the thing we can learn about these videos is that people online in MMOs, man, you can't trust anyone. All right, even if you have, even if you have been talking to someone for literally years, your best buddies, you're hanging out in Skype every single day, they will turn on you and they will betray you. Doesn't matter how many scribbly IO games you have played together, they will turn on you. Inspiring with Goon Swarm and Test, two vast enemy alliances of players who had some beef with CO2. The okay. alliances convinced the judge to turn coat after they all met in real life to discuss business within the game. The judge what? then put his master plan into action. 
what? This looks like a like they look like a gang or something. They're like doing like gang signs. They have like a little banner. <laughs> what is this? So early this week, the judge began transferring ownership of the Keep Stars, these vast, busy citadels, to uh -huh. various Goon Swarm and Test members, who then quickly took control of CO2's in-game resources. Once the enemy right. alliances had control of the Keep Stars, all CO2 players were essentially booted out of the stations, Ooh. and their ships were locked to their stations unless they play a recovery fee. Whilst all this was going on, the They're judge secretly them. stole all of CO2's ISK, which is Eve's currency, the money. and transferred it all to his personal personal account. Yeah, so while this huge fall- Dude, he hijacked the entire capital and just joined all the money. ...thousand strong alliance of players were busy trying to figure out what the hell was happening to the space stations. This guy was stealing all their cash. Oh. So just like that, he made himself the in-game equivalent of a trillionaire. The real world value of this ISK has been estimated to be around $13,000, man. That's just enough to buy, like, an item from a GDKP in World of Warcraft. Let's go, guys. We're gonna get Shadowmorn, finally. This left CO2 pretty much defenseless Holy. and unable to fight back. And according to EVE players, CO2 is now completely done for. So this is a, one of the biggest kind of betrayals in the, in the game's history, I guess. It's not mm -hmm. just one guy who screwed over one kind of group of players. It's, yep. it's someone who's taken down, like, an entire... Like an army. Essentially, guilds, like if you can compare them at all to any other MMO, they're just yeah. massive organizations of players. You just completely just disintegrated one of those. <laughs> so, so one guy versus basically like a massive juicer guild. Thousand strong Yoink. corporation, yeah. just like pretty much disbanded. You know, it's not disbanded completely, but no. it's taken it down, ripped it of its assets. It's like a coup. It's not a. Okay. It's not a war. It wasn't a huge battle or anything. It's a guy who just kind of flipped the switch basically, and and he had the keys to the kingdom. This one mm -hmm. guy had the control of. Maybe I'm crazy, but that's not. Uh, that's actually not a lot of money to make yourself a complete peria in your main hobby. Well, they're just like trans transferring the money to like real life currency so you could like see how much it really is. A lot of these people don't necessarily do it for the money as well. They do it to send the message that they could. Like we watched, we, we, we recently watched another video about like a guy who like spent nine months befriending another person just to eventually steal his like really, really rare ship. And he took it and yoinked it just to prove that he could. Eventually though, um, the ship was given back to the other person because he didn't really care about having the ship. He just wanted to prove to him, he, he wanted to prove that he could take it if he wanted to. So he spent nine months of his life literally dedicating every single day to befriending a person just to take their ship. Just, to, just because he could. Like that, that's the kind of thing that they do, right? It, it's not for the money, it's not for that, it's just to send a message that they are able to do it. All these space stations just turn the control over to another faction yeah. in the game. And I don't mean like China Island, yeah, like a little the bit. Game's proper terminology, but another group in the game, which was the Goon Swarm, and then all the, all these space stations belong to the Goon Swarm, just just mm. like that. And then not only that, he stole all of them, <laughs> all of CO2's money, while CO2 were trying to figure out shit, what's happened to our space stations. He was Jesus. just like draining their wallets of all their cash as well. Uh, a lot of the community, especially what we've not seen on Reddit, they're, they're all saying. Okay, like, I wonder where does the anime come in. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the anime. There must be a something about the anime soon. Well, this is what happens when you give one guy yeah. like so much responsibility for assets in your corporation. This is what's uh -huh. going to happen, which I think is a bit harsh. Yeah, there's it's a bit harsh. little sympathy. <laughs> and this whole thing came about because of like this EVE fan fest, right? That happens mm -hmm. every single year in Iceland is where like all the um, corporation leaders get invited to this, this fan fest. So apparently when this was going on this year, they had a secret secret meeting the goon swarm like leader <laughs> okay. had a secret meeting with this the, uh, judge. the judge guy and this is where this plan was hatched out so you know it's like corporate espionage and mm. on a higher level and the anime was just flavor text what's that mean the, the anime th there must be something about the anime soon this is all happening playing out in a game it's so enthralling and this is why yeah. we love covering these um, stories because it's it's game it's done for fun but this uh, this is just so much intrigue there it's, yeah it's awesome everything in the game has a kind of a real world value as well it's a subscription based yep. MMO technically so you still have to makes pay it even to, worse to play the game however you can pay using in-game currency in very layman's terms to, to pay for the subscription right so it's actually yeah that in -game like a wow token you can use wow tokens currency is worth something in the real world right so using that 
everything in the game is worth a bit of money. So <laughs> then th these yeah. are actual real world assets that he's stolen basically from, yeah. from thousands and thousands of players. He's and, and that makes it even worse, man, because there's actually money technically involved, right? It's like, we'll have that, thanks. And now <laughs> that's about $13,000 worth of stuff that's just in his bank account. But that's just mm. our take on the situation. And it doesn't stop there. Let's okay. see what happened next. GigX, the leader of CO2, was completely stunned by the judge's betrayal and yeah. even resorted to essentially threatening to cut his hands off. Writing in the CO2 chat, GigX... Uh, not in real life, right? He, he's talking about his in-game hands, right? They're, uh, the... ...said, the judge, feel free to use your hands by... Judge, feel free to use your hands by typing here. Sub while you can. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Typing here while you still can. But the judge being the master tactician he is, was already prepared for this kind of thing. The judge was live streaming the chat on Twitch, where viewers took screenshots of the threats made by GigX and reported him to Eve's developer, CCP Games. Oh, CCP Games take threats of violence very seriously. It is my sad duty to inform you that your account has been permanently banned from our server for making real-life threats to another player. Uh, read the in-game notification. This is a serious violation of our end-user license agreement and terms of service. Yeah, of course making real-life threats that you're gonna cut someone's hands off is against the terms of service. Oh my god. And so they hastily banned GigX from EVE Online forever. So not only did So he, he stole all his assets. Like, all the entire guild's assets, $13,000 worth, but he also got the leader of that guild banned. Steal all this shit. He essentially grasped on him, or like yeah. the, the viewers of the, of the stream grasped on him. So he didn't technically grasp on him, Dude. but he got him banned. Ah, it's all part of the plot. <laughs> he plotted right, sure. it like he was streaming it. He's got the guy banned as well. Not only has he lost everything, oh. he can't even get into the game he lost anymore. Everything. How bad is that? So that's all part of the plan was you know, to get him to be uh, you know violently threatening him on stream or whatever. And now that guy's banned. Okay. So the, the corporation or the CO2 is is dead now, definitely because the leader of it is cut. He's gone. Talk about salt in the wound. Yeah, that's, that sucks. Like 13 years and it's just yeah, no. This GeekX account has been active for 13 years and it's just been banned. 13 years, man. I, they've got to let him back in, right? They've got it, to, like... It's, it's like a crime of passion, if oh. anything. Like, he's got obviously, obviously really upset, isn't he? What do you mean crime of passion? You're threatening someone to cut off their hands in real life. Are you... I'm gonna cut your hands off. <laughs> what, he implied that vague... you can, you can, while you still can use your hands. Maybe well, where you does the like anime that, come I'm, in? I'm gonna break into your house and blindfold you so you don't know where the keyboard is, so you can't use your hands. Well, yeah. Maybe it was just that. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So with the leader of CO2 permanently banned from the game yeah. and all the in-game assets frozen for up to 20 days, the CO2 alliance is near enough dead and gone. Yeah, gone. They've already lost almost a thousand players in the wake of all this, which is a quarter of their entire roster. Jesus. It was a brutal and Please, Goose of the Anime Civil War is a separate event. Oh, wait, is it called the Anime Civil War? <laughs> wait, okay, so the Anime Civil War is a different thing. Okay, so that's a different EVE Online event. That, okay, I, I just, okay, I'm trying to catch up with everything here, chat. Calculated coup that was executed with cold efficiency. EVE players say that this will put an end to an in-game war that has been raging on for the past few months, given that one of its biggest participants has just been completely paralyzed. Players say yep. CO2 have only themselves to blame for giving one player far too much control. 447 billion ISK destroyed. What is 1 billion ISK to USD? One, wait, can you do it like that? No, that, okay, wait, there's something called Icelandic Kronos. EVE Online dollar to dollar. I don't know if you can do, is it $44,000? So like, if you were to buy that money, that would be $44,000. Jesus Christ. Control over their most prized possessions. So that's where the, this story comes to an end for now. Who knows what will happen next week? But this is another in a long line of like okay. soap opera type shenanigans that go on in the Eve Online universe. And it, I mean, I used to play it. It's I used insane. To get involved in it, but I know for certain that I I don't have the commitment it takes to be able to yeah. play. I would love to have yeah. the time to be a part of all this because it it's sounds so awesome, isn't it? It's like you either play games or you play Eve. I just can't yeah. see how dude, you manage. It, I, dude, as I said, man, I 
could never play a game like Eve myself, but it is so interesting hearing these crazy stories about it. To do both. I don't and know, that's what man. Makes Eve Online so different to all the other games. It's like giving yeah. the players power over the economy, over the resources, over it's wild, everything yeah. in this game. All of the players are making this game and making the lore and, and everything that develops from the game. And does anyone even care about the game itself, the base game itself? Because it's mm. all like politics and intrigue. And like I said, that's what makes Eve Online it's so interesting. unique and special as a game. So there you go, guys. People love drama as long as it doesn't affect them. One hundred percent, yes. Playing Eve is fine. You don't have to play twenty four seven. You can log in every couple of days and join a fleet and have fun. Oh yeah, of course. That that's how it is with every single game. But there's always people that take it to the very very extreme, right? For Armony, that's one of the craziest stories we've heard from the EVE Online world. What about you? Do you think there's something better out there? Let us know what it is yeah. down in the comments. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this every single day. Another video right there, which you could watch yeah. right now. And there's a link to Patreon if you want to support the channel. See All right, let's take a look at this here, though. Um, what's the comment say? I always had the feeling that EVE was made for crazy people and kept them from spilling into the real world. <laughs> Spends months earning the trust of players, then betrays them and steals their ships. It's beginner level Eve. I started Eve once, but the learning curve was so steep that at the end you you have a PhD in a co in economics. It's honestly true, man. The game is so confusing. It is literally spreadsheet sheet simulator, man. Holy crap! I'll link the video right here.